Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. Last time, we made our way to Euclid, met Clarth, convinced him to join our party, and we're about to set off on an adventure to find the Summon Spirit Sylph. But first, I want to take a moment and talk to Merald. Be careful out there. Take care of Clarth for me, okay? Hey, come on. Is that how you talk about your elders? Oh my... I don't believe I mentioned anything about your age. Here, take this as a gift for your send-off. Well, I guess it won't hurt to take it with us. And we get a channeling for Clarth. If only you would be more honest. So, yep, another party member, another channeling. That now gives us three of them. So, if you had a multi-tap, you could actually control four party members at once. Let's take a look. Uh, nope, I don't want to read this one yet. I want to start on the left. Skip through this. Come on. We'll read them in order. The four great elements and spirits. The spirits that rule over the elements of earth, water, fire, and wind are known as the four great spirits. Is this, yeah, each bookcase only has one thing you'll read. So, let's check this one. Social structure of the spirits one. After spending significant time observing the world of the spirits, it becomes clear that a social stratification exists, separating elite and common spirits. However, for the time being, the only observable instance of this hierarchy is between the four great spirits and their leader, Maxwell. Although unconfirmed, it is thought that Luna, Shadow, and Asuka are also part of this hierarchy in the ranks of the elite spirits. Additionally, it is thought that there exists a class of spirits entirely separate from the first, which it, with its own social hierarchy. Interesting. What does this one say? Seems to be a letter here. Clarth. Unfortunately, it seems that the techniques used to create the Pact Rings have been lost. I've searched countless ruins, but in the end, I returned with almost no information regarding the Pact Rings. However, that doesn't mean that all is lost. There's still the Moria Mine, which is under the kingdom of Alvanista's control. It's a gamble, but the Dwarven ruins discovered there may yet hold unused Pact Rings. What do you say? Shall we look into it? Ah, interesting. We'll have to remember to go to the Mines of Moria. <laughs> there seems to be some money here. Oh, wait, that's... It seems Clarth hides his secret savings here. Let's leave them where we found them. <laughs> he keeps it hidden. These don't seem to be reference materials. Wonder what might be there. There are some old documents here. Ancient ruins have been discovered in the depths of the Moria Mine. The King of Alvanista immediately made the announcement that an investigation team was being organized to further explore this discovery. A consortium of archaeologists has concluded that these ruins are in fact an ancient settlement of the dwarves. Spirits and Pact Rings. In order to form form a summoning spirit, bleh, excuse me. In order to form a summoning pact with a spirit, a special kind of ring is required. The creation of these rings was the result of a collaborative effort by Leonardo of the Elves and the craftsman Geeth of the Dwarves. So these rings sound pretty important. Definition of spirits and elements. There are a great variety of spirits in this world. The four great elements, earth, water, fire, wind, are the axis about which this world pivots. Additionally, although many remain unknown, spirits with the power of molecules, the moon, darkness, and light, have been confirmed. And spirits in the physical world. Only the most powerful spirits are able to physically manifest themselves in our world. Gnome for earth, Undine for water, Efreet for fire, and Sylph for wind and also their leader, the Spirit of Molecules, Maxwell. In addition, there are the Spirit of the Moon, Luna, the Spirit of Darkness, Shadow, and the Spirit of Light, Asuka. It is thought that there are many other spirits whose existence have yet to be verified. So, an interesting thing, these spirits... Oh, a spellbook here! Uh, these spirits are an ongoing recurring theme in the Tales games. You will encounter them in pretty much every Tales game you come across. This is... it's a kid's picture book. And another spell book! Don't have any use for it. 
So, it's something you will see, you know, Dean, Freed, Gnome, Sylph, you'll see them throughout pretty much every single Tales game you come across. Now, we're done in Euclid, so I think it's time to head out and head off to that Lone Valley. And we're going to find it as they told us off to the east. So, let's cross this big old bridge and head that way. This is the home of the spirits of wind, Lone Valley. It's been said that the spirits reside in all things in this world. Well, much of this is theoretical, but at least in the case of the four great spirits, we know that they truly exist. The four great spirits? That's right. The spirits that rule over earth, water, fire, and wind are known as the four great spirits. The spirits of wind, the sylph, are among them. So our goal here is to obtain the power of the sylph, correct? Well, if everything ends up being that simple, I won't complain. Actually, in order to form the pact, we need something known as a rune ring. It's absolutely essential to the pact. Personally, I'm in the habit of calling it a pact ring. We must first obtain that. Essential? But, Clarth, weren't you the one who created summoning? Actually, it was something I first discovered in an ancient document. That was the beginning of my research, which I have now carried out to its perfection. And you did all of this by yourself? Clarth, you're amazing! While I was still among those hard-headed fools in the scientific community, I was told countless times that it was impossible. In any case, our first stop is that house over there. There's a man living there I'd like to meet. So, let's go in! Sorry to be short, but you are Bart, are you not? And you are. I'm Clarth. I seek a pact with the spirits of wind. I'd wait a while if I were you. You still remember that last earthquake, right? Since then, all the spirits in the area have been acting strangely. I can't get anywhere near them by myself, so I still don't know what exactly happened to them. I understand the situation, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Speaking of which, I was hoping that you'd be willing to part with that rune ring of yours. Of course, I'm perfectly willing to give you fair compensation for it. I don't know where you learned about this ring, but if you'll hear my request, I'll be, I'll be willing to give you the ring in exchange. What kind of request? To tell you the truth, my daughter went missing several days ago. I'm worried she might have gone into the valley to check on the state of the spirits. The girl went alone? Doesn't she know how dangerous it is? Having such a reckless daughter, it's my curse. Alright, we'll search for her. My daughter's name is Arch. You'll recognize her by her trademark pink ponytail. Despite her appearance, she's actually a tomboy. I guess you could say that she's kind of hard to miss. I see. We'll keep our eyes open for her. As far as the spirits of wind go, you can most likely find them in the innermost part of the valley across the suspension bridge. Please, find my daughter. And we get the opal ring! This is an accessory for Clarth. I'll make sure to equip him with that. And... A unique ring for use in a summoning pact reduces damage from wind-type attacks by half. So, pretty useful especially in this area. Oh yeah, don't forget to take a pickaxe and rope along with you. The valley is host to a great number of dangers. I believe if you go to Hamel, you should be able to buy what you need for the trip. So we, yeah, we have not seen anywhere that sells a pickaxe and rope, so we're gonna need to go get that first. But before we do, a thief's mantle. This is pretty cool. It boosts your defense and evasion. So I think um, yeah, we're going to equip that on Clarth. He's a little squishy right now, so a Thief's Mantle will help out. Now, we can't progress further yet because we don't have a pickaxe or rope, so we're going to leave the, t uh, the valley and head up here to the town of Hamel. 
Mint got a level up out of that. Oh, and she got the title Priestess, too. Let's take a look at that title. Oh, I completely forgot I gave Clark the title Pain in the Ass. Alright. And for reaching level 12, she gets the title Priestess. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and head into the village here. And what are we going to find? We're going to find that I accidentally left the village immediately after entering it. Go back in. And we got a couple things to find here. This is, you know, a nice big building. Let's go inside for the item shop, Angel's Blessing. Welcome! So, you can buy a bunch of stuff here, all the usual things. You can now get holy bottles and dark bottles, which... Dark Bottle does the exact opposite of a Holy Bottle. It will draw more enemies in, so you'll get random encounters much quicker. And uh, we're going to inspect those. We want to buy a pickaxe. Uh, and we want to buy a rope. And that's it for what we want to buy here. Thank you. Come again. What do you have to say? Come here. Welcome. If you're going to be doing any hiking, I'd suggest taking along a rope and a pickaxe. Yeah, we only need one of each. So, let's wander around a little bit, and what do you have to say? God must be really great, right? I mean, everyone goes to the church every day just to try and talk to him. Hmm, good point. And hey, we've got another chef hanging out here. I dwell in the wonderful world of flavor. I want to share this flavor with as many people as I can. Would you like to taste of my world? Then let's get cooking! Ooh, we learned to make French toast! And where is it? Right here. Milk, egg, and bread. Oh, delicious. Also, cool, these cure like poison, paralysis. The neat thing is some of the cooking does bonus effects besides just HP or TP recovery. Welcome! One night is 36 gold. Uh, you know what? Why not? We're kind of low on health and TP. Check out, it's tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll stay the night and make sure we're healed up for our journey into the valley. And also, look who it is! Wait, Nancy? Oh, Kles! I want to thank you for before. What are you doing in a place like this? I'm a traveling soldier. This girl was set on meeting that guy, no matter what. I was planning on making my way to Venezia anyway, but this girl begged me to take her along. Yeah, I understand. I just want to hear it from him myself. Elwyn. So, we continue on with the side quest of Elwyn and Nancy. Nothing else you can do here, but make sure you talk to her at this point. You do not want to miss out on that. And here is the big church. Wow, there's a lot of people in this church. Priest is reading from a holy book. I feel... I feel some kind of powerful hatred in the air. Oh, that's not good. Are you travelers? Yes, that's right. Well then, I shall pray for you. May God grant you his protection on your journey. What do these people have to say? Really bad premonition. Almost like there's something lurking in the darkness, just waiting for the opportunity to devour this entire world. Yeah, his name is Deos. So. Yeah. Yeah, I get that, kid. Mr. Scarlet suddenly moved to the city several years ago. If I remember correctly, he lived in Midgard prior to moving here. So. Interesting. Wonder if he's anybody important. Not long ago, there was a man by the name of Scarlet who lived in this city. Mr. Scarlet was a sorcerer. But it seems he was also involved in some sort of research on a new application of sorcery. But that has all come to an end with his death. God rest his soul. Oh, I guess we're not going to meet Mr. Scarlet. He had taken in a pupil by the name of Demeter. When Master Scarlet died, Demeter went on weeping endlessly. Hmm? How did he die? I heard that it was in an accident of some kind. Interesting. All this stuff sounds pretty important. 
Please protect my papa and mama. Oh, poor kid worried here. Once upon a time, in the days of the long forgotten past, there were advanced civilization, the likes of which you can hardly imagine. That's what I heard from my grandpa, at least. I still don't know if his stories were true or not. So, old woman heard from her grandpa about that. So, let's head out here. I think there's pretty much everything done here. Oh, one guy wandering around. If you're wondering why nobody is around, they're all in the church praying to God. So, yeah. That's pretty much everything we have to find here. Oh, wait. Nope. Almost forgot. Weapon shop. The crystal rod. Very important to stop here. Not just to fill out our map, but you want to buy the Walloon Sword. Sword with a straight blade, just a little longer than a standard longsword. You want this. 50 slash and 50 thrust, a good even balance. You could get the Crescent Axe for its light attribute, but I don't really think it's worth the money for that yet. Uh, she's got the gem rod equipped already. So, buy that Walloon Sword. And yeah, it's better than what he has by far. Drops your accuracy slightly, but trust me, that added damage, I mean, 50 more slash? Totally worth it. Thanks! So let's head on out of here. Oh, and can I just say, I love this giant flail on the wall. I wish we could wield a flail that was bigger than us. That would be insane. And here, we've got an armor shop. Endurance. Welcome. So, we can buy ring mail. Not going to worry about that for now. Um, don't really need to worry about shields. Let's, well, let's get some Ankh-Berets. They can be very helpful there. And I think that's all we want to buy. So we already have an Iron Sele. Uh, yeah. Let's make sure everybody's optimized. And we don't have anything for Clarth's hands yet, but we'll get something eventually. Now we're actually done in the city of Hamel. Or Hamel. Or whatever you want to call it. I can't make up my mind about how I want to pronounce it. So, let's go ahead and head back to Lone Valley. And you, oh, you know what? We haven't done a skit in a while. That girl, Arch. I wonder if she's okay. Entering the valley alone would be unbelievably dangerous. Let's hurry. If that's the case, she may be in real danger. Thanks to her, we got the Pact Ring for free. But I guess this is no time to be saying that. You're right, Clarth. It really kind of isn't. You know what? I'm still trying to find that one enemy. Let's, let's get one random battle before we go back into the Lone Valley. No luck. Well, we'll find that one monster eventually. So, we're back here, and now we've got the pickaxe and rope. So, let's head on into the valley. And I love the effects on the grass here. So, yeah, right off the bat, you'll see giant rock here. If you didn't have the pickaxe, you'd be stuck here. Now, let's keep going up, and... Keep wandering, and we see... Oh, look at that! A group of sylphs! Don't approach them just yet. First, get a random battle with Peep Peeps! Marshmallow goodness. No, that's not what these guys are. These are just birds with weak to fire and earth. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and... That's a Zur Sandstorm! I said I would show off. Yep, you know it is Sword Dance in most of the other Tales games if you've played them. So, pretty easy enemies, and we got some chicken from the Peep Peeps. And now, let's approach these sylphs. It, it hurts. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So, mid-boss time with, ooh, these are creepy looking. We have blue sylphs and red sylphs. So, we want to use Thunderclaw. Oh, Storm. That's not that powerful, but it kind of looks impressive. And you know what? We also want to use one on the reds. And Thunderclaw is really good because it manages to hit 
multiple at the same time. And they're taken out in no time. I thought I was going to kill them in that hit there. That would have been perfect timing. And hey, we got two rune bottles from it. Not bad. And two level ups. So, we managed to help them out there. One by one, our companions are being driven mad from exposure to the air from the demonic realms. Air from the demonic realms? I see. So this is all being caused by that toxic gas. Toxic gas? You mean the Sylph have a gas problem? Class! Toxic gas? Clarth, could you explain what you mean? It is known as miasma, the toxic air from the demonic realms. There was probably a distortion in the boundary that separates this world from the demonic realms and allowed that poison to seep out. So long as humans don't suffer prolonged exposure, miasma isn't a big deal, but for spirits, it's a different story. Then, the rest of them may be affected just like those last spirits. We just need to find a way to seal up the areas where the distortion is occurring, right? The sooner we take care of this, the better. That's true. So, we've got to deal with some miasma, apparently. And I think, nope, that's the way we came from. Head up here. And we get a save point. Definitely a good idea to save here if you want to. Whirlwind. They're very dangerous whirlwinds. Get caught in one of those and you'll end up with more than just a scratch. What could cause something like that to appear? No doubt it's also a result of the madness of the spirits of wind. So we got more sylphs coming up. We've got some whirlwinds. But you know what? We're going to leave it off right here. Next time we're going to continue going through the valley and hopefully solving this problem of the miasma. We've done a lot this time. We've managed to enter the valley, got a ring for making the pact, and oh boy, I feel like a lot more troubles are waiting for us as we go. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.